Coming up on your Blazer Sports Report, we take a look at what's going on in women's tennis, softball, and men's lacrosse. Then we'll get an inside look at the VSU football spring game. Your Blazer Sports Report starts now. Hello and welcome to the Blazer Sports Report. I'm Andrew Hageman. And I'm Mary Beth Hansen. The Lady Blazer tennis team served up a win against Shorter of University on Saturday. Here's Morgan Osborne with all the details. The Lady Blazers hard work paid off on Saturday as they took on Shorter University right here at the Blazer tennis courts. In a battle of two of the nation's top 25 teams, the number 15 Valdosta State women's tennis team walked away with a dominant 6-0 win over number 22 Shorter in Gulf South Conference action. Valdosta State took control of the match from the outset with three straight victories in doubles action. We've been working all year on volleys and overheads and it's finally starting to show especially in the doubles. So that, that was the best thing that happened beginning with 8-6 victory for Michelle Fisher and Sabrina Schmidt. Jessica Tuggle and Jennifer Rink joined up at number two doubles to claim an 8-3 win, and freshman Mariah Hibbard combined with Juliana Boehm at number three to get the Lady Blazers off to a 3-0 start after doubles. Fisher held on to win a difficult match at number one singles. Schmidt then defeated her opponent at number four singles, and Laura Yubda closed out the match with a victory at number two singles. We uh, played excellently and uh, I'm very proud of the players. With your Blazer Sports Report, I'm Morgan Osborne. Next up for the Lady Blazers is the Gold South Conference Tournament in Montgomery, Alabama. Let's hope they can bring back a conference title and continue working towards a national championship. The Lady Blazers softball team has won five straight games and is fighting for yet another NCAA National Championship this season. Blazer sports reporter Brindisi Duncan has more. With just two games remaining in the regular season, Coach Thomas Macera and the Lady Blazers softball team are looking to continue their recent win streak and use that momentum to make another championship run this postseason. Just two years removed from a national championship, the Lady Blazers have the team in place to make another addition to the trophy case. The team is led offensively by senior Shelby Altman and junior Courtney Albritton. Altman is batting 390 with 19 home runs and 61 RBIs, while Albritton is batting an outstanding 445 with the team leading 21 home runs and 51 RBIs. However, the breakout star down the stretch has been pictured Caitlin Calhoun, who was named Gulf South Conference Player of the Week on Tuesday. The sophomore had a 2-0 record on the week, including a stellar performance against the conference rival West Georgia. Against the Wolves, Calhoun tossed her first career no-hitter and struck out 11 in, an, in a 5-0 Blazer win. Yeah, I mean, she's starting to pitch a little bit better, and, and you know, we just need everybody contributing, you know, together, you know, not just here and there. We've got to put games together, and, and, and you need more than one pitcher to put more than one game together, obviously, so we need, you know, we need everybody contributing. Our pitching's good, not great, but good, and we just have to outscore people, and we know that, and you know, we live and die by how well we push the bat. With the rare combination of explosive batting and dominant pitching, there's no reason the Lady Blazers can't make a deep playoff run and take home their second NCAA Division II championship in three years. For the Blazers Sports Report, I'm Brindisi Duncan. Thanks, Brindisi. We wish the best for our Lady Blazers as they head into the Gulf South Conference Tournament. The Dallas State University men's tennis team just finished their last regular season match before heading to the Gold South Conference Tournament. This past weekend, the Blazers faced the Hawks at home, beating their opponents 6-1. Blazers sports reporter Allison Thorpe has more. The Valdosta State University men's tennis team went head-to-head -head this past weekend with the Shorter Hawks. The match was a rescheduled game from a rain delay earlier in the season. The Blazers dominated their matches throughout the day, eventually winning 6-1. However, despite playing well, the Valdosta State Blazers will need to rest some of their key players who have recently been sidelined by injuries. As the season is coming close to an end, the conference tournament is soon to be underway. We had to mix up our doubles lineup a little bit because we had two injuries. 
but I think we have eight really good players, so whoever plays, it's, it's, we are like a big team and uh, everyone makes a good impact on our team. So I think actually who plays in the end doesn't really matter, it all matters that we like stay together and then we should just focus on next weekend. And then I think as soon as we like uh, play, practice hard this week, then just get our doubles together and everyone get healthy, that's important too. Then I think we should we have good chances to win the conference and then go to regionals. With your Blazers Sports Report, I'm Allison Thorpe. Despite the team's setback with injuries, the Blazers are sure to play well. We wish the best of luck to the men's tennis team in their upcoming conference tournament. The men's club lacrosse team is working hard this season with energetic and talented players on the team. Matt Tanga had a chance to catch up with one of the players. I got three. I thought he had like six. The lacrosse team is full of potential with new freshman players. And here's one of the players that I had a chance to catch up with. My name is Galen Perry. I'm a, I'm a freshman here and I'm an attack on the club lacrosse team. When speaking with Galen, he expressed his experience playing with majority freshmen on the team. It can get frustrating because it'd be nice to have some older, more experienced players, but it's good to know that we're all going like, to build together and get better through, as the years goes on. Galen also expressed his goals, which are to have fun and win. We wish him and the rest of the lacrosse team best of luck. With your Blazer Sports Report, I'm Matt Tanger. Thanks, Matt. With great potential players on the team, the men's lacrosse team best of luck with their season. The VSU football team showcased their talent for the upcoming season in the 2014 spring game. John Miklos has the full story. The Valdosta State football team was back in action Saturday as they competed in the 2014 spring game. The game was narrowly won by the offense who outscored the defense with a final score of 59 to 55. Quarterback Jake Medlock, a senior transfer from Florida International, showed an impressive performance in his Blazer debut and had this to say about his performance. I felt like I started off slow and then came off very strong at the end. I got a couple of completions under my belt and I got in the rhythm and I just stayed with it. It don't matter if it's D2 or D1. I mean, the athletes are all over the field. Uh, it was a great day today for the offense. I felt like we uh, ran the offense to what coaches wanted. The spring game wraps up spring practice. Next, the team will prepare for summer workouts. They're feeling strong and great. They're ready to just get started, ready for week one, get started for the summer workouts, get started for camp, and get ready for week one. The defense also had a strong performance and forced a number of turnovers, including an interception return 75 yards for a touchdown by senior linebacker Rodney Hunter. The 2014 football season kicks off on Saturday, September 6th at home against Albany State Rams. With your Blazer Sports Report, I'm John Miklos. Thanks, John. Be sure to follow the football team as they work towards another national championship this fall. Well, that wraps up our show for today. Again, I'm Mary Beth Hansen. And I'm Andrew Hageman. Stay tuned for student-athlete spotlights in the near future. Go, Go Blazers! Blazers.